I'm making this video basically because a lot of you asked how I made my Deadpool katana hold up and I thought it would be useful as I couldn't find any resources whatsoever on how to make anything similar. I think it was definitely the most complex item out of the whole Deadpool cosplay. It was actually ridiculous to make. And I won't lie, I probably ended up um, adjusting it about a thousand times and it was really, really difficult to get right. Trial and error, 100%. The belt was pretty straightforward as you could just sort of like look at photos and you just make it as you go. Because there wasn't like anything you could like get a reference from. I ended up getting my reference from the newly released Lady Deadpool figurine, which even then was just really unrealistic. So you would look at it and you would just be like, I don't even know how that's going to work on a human because it sits so well on her, but not well on like a real person. I couldn't really work out how it would sit without these straps um, because the original Lady Deadpool doesn't actually have any strapping across. If you went by that design, the costume would have just been so unflattering because if you look at her in all of the comics and all the figurines, the costume actually just like clings to her boobs and that just doesn't happen in real life. So if you didn't have these straps to go above and below, the costume would just sort of like go straight down and it would look like a tube. You'll notice that a lot of the lady Deadpools have these straps to make the suit look 10 times better. Another thing I know you can probably do, as a lot of the girls have done, is they put like buckles at the front of like here and here so that you can easily just attach it. I originally wasn't sure whether it was going to work as one whole sewn together piece. I sort of just fluked it. It just worked. So I didn't need any buckles or anything like that. Another flaw that I found in the original design of the Lady Deadpool Katana Hoarder was that you see that she just has the two straps and the one line of material going at the back. If you think about that realistically and trying to put swords on this one piece of material, you just think you really want the back of the costume to be reinforced so that it can hold the swords in place just where you want them. That was one part that I just looked at and was just like, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I found that the best way to do that was to actually mimic the way the swords would sit on my back with the material so that they wouldn't move because the material is there to hold it. You'll also notice that I attached um, these little, you see the little black things? They're actually pieces of elastic. They're about the exact same size as the width of one of the swords. So I've got two on each strap. So that one holds them at the top and one holds sort of at the bottom so that when you wear it it doesn't move at all and you're actually able to take the swords out as well the best way i can probably explain it is if i take it off this being the front so that's the strap that goes above my boobs that's the strap that goes below and this is the crisscross that i'm talking about at the back so it's going in the shape that the katanas would actually sit on your back. The way I put it on is you slip the I slip the katanas in first. So it goes in the first strap like that and then goes through to the second one. So if I hold it up, you can see that it's it just sits. Like I don't even need to hold it and it's sort of sitting in the right way. You put the second one and you do have to overlap it over the first one so that they're actually like, they stiffly stay. So you just have to thread it through. Sort of hassle is putting it on and then it's just as simple as looping your arms through. So I would say that pretty much sums up like the structural component of the actual katana holder. So basically all I had to use for this was I used a sewing machine just because that's easier for me to sew. I used two centimeters wide pieces of elastic. Black was fine for me. You could use brown if you found it. I used brown material for this. I know that 
a lot of Deadpools wear the black um, utility belts, but Lady Deadpool, def in my opinion, definitely should have um, the khaki green sort of army style utilities. You can do it in black and I think it looks great in black, but personally I found the perfect material. It's sort of like a canvas, not quite though. I couldn't find the exact material that I wanted, but this was close enough. I would have liked it to be a little bit more rough, but I guess in the end this was easier to sew with as well, so it sort of worked out for the best. Picking a thread, I just used a brown just because my mum always told me if you can't find the right colour, always go just a shade darker and it will always work out for you. The tubes are made by folding over pieces of material. It's about a 12 centimetre long piece of fabric that was folded in half. Um, it was then sewn like with a one centimetre long seam straight stitch. You then flip the material inside out so it's just sort of a tube. You then run two seams along both edges to make it flat and then you just sort of sew each together. So the, the longest ones are going to be the loopholes and then these ones here will just, you'll have to measure how long it is with a measuring tape from here to here and then sort of, I did it through estimation and just trial and error. So I just sewed a huge piece and then just made it smaller and smaller and smaller, which it probably would have been easier just to measure and work out how big I was, but it just didn't occur to me at the time. The back of the crisscross is probably the messiest work I've ever done in my life. All of them are sort of just jammed together as best as possible over the top of each other. I'll definitely have to go back and re-sew some of it because it's sort of falling apart a little bit. But that pretty much sums up everything you will need to know to make your very own Lady Deadpool or normal Deadpool katana holder.